Now, the story of Lil Nas X has been a very, very crazy one, okay? This man started out his music career by basically being a blasphemist to the Christian and godly community, okay? All his videos, all his music, his art was about promoting satanic behavior and horrible behavior. We saw this with the shoes he released back in the past, and we saw this with the kind of videos that he made, or, okay? We had the Montero video that came out, all of that just promoting the devil and the 666, Anything bad, anything not Christian-like or not religious was what Little Nas X was known for, okay? So now this guy has decided to turn to Christianity. He's decided to turn to the way of the Lord. And this has come with a lot of backlash because of the way he's promoted himself. Bro, now what am I about about? God gonna handle you in the right way. I, I didn't even talk about that yet, bro. But look, God gonna handle you, bro. And you're... Bro, but he did. No, bro. What you I'm gonna just get straight into it. Ready? Three, two, one. First of all, you're gay. You're automatically going to hell. Second of all, um, this shit is not okay. So right now, I completely get what you're thinking, okay? What did Lil Nas X do that actually led to people like Aiden Ross and Kai Knight going off on him like that, right? Like, it's not like Aiden Ross himself, the guy criticizing Lil Nas X here, is a saint in any way, okay? Well, I actually get why these people are this angry at Lil Nas X because it all comes from this clip that we're about to look at, okay? Now, it is a little disturbing. So, relax and let's get right into it. So, yeah, that was basically what Lil Nas X did, okay? This is blasphemy. You have to be baptized or be some level of high believer within God and Christianity to go there and do communion. And we're already seeing what Lil Nas X has done with this image on the internet and what he's been doing basically with the name of God and, and the gospel and all of that. He's been very disrespectful to Christian and to sit here and do this to the communion it's pretty disrespectful, okay? How is this generation so openly okay with this? If you're a Christian, he is literally mocking God. This is what we would consider blasphemy. I don't completely believe in cancel culture, but whenever Lil Nas is doing it and mocking Christianity, literally, where are you? Like, nothing. We know that he's put out very satanic music. Now he's saying that he's turned to God and in an ideal world, how amazing. Now, the reason why that is very important is because, yeah, Lil Nas X is, uh, he's an artist, okay? So we can appreciate the creativity and you trying to do something different with your industry, okay? But you can't really go out of your way and be uh, degenerate basically and basically shit on other people's religion just because you think it's gonna get you clicks and it's gonna make you relevant. I can see this as one of the situations where actually Muslims and Christians and like every religion can come together and say this behavior is disrespectful, okay? But there are people out there that actually think this was cool. Hold up, I'm confused. Everyone is mad about this cover art from Lil Nas X. Let me ask you something. Where was this energy for Nas? For the baby, for Kanye West, or should I say Jesus? A play on Jesus. Kendrick Lamar, Tupac. <clears throat> Editor Zor here. Mind you, the cover image he's talking about is basically the image that's promoting this whole new change in Little Nas X content from satanic to Christianity, okay? And it's also supporting the whole communion incident that you just saw. Or did he? Listen, it is not my job to make y'all not mad at Lil Nas X because frankly, I just don't care. I just love pointing out the hypocrisy. And everybody knows the one reason why everyone's mad at Lil Nas X and none of those other artists I just listed. It's obvious. Now, here's my whole problem with that video, okay? This guy is basically saying that because Lil Nas X is gay, we somehow are caring more about this situation just because of that. But here's the thing though, like none of those artists really blaspheme god or like any religion as much as Lil Nas X has. Lil Nas X literally paved the way for satanic content. Okay, this man is the face of satanic content. Yo, Lil Nas X, you could eat my whole dick. I hate that nigga, bro. Nah, that shit just popped up in my head, bro. That nigga, bro, nah, what am I mother, bro? God gonna handle you in the right way. I, I didn't even talk about that yet, bro, but look. God gonna handle you, bro, and you're- bro. What he did? No, bro. What he did? No, bro. God gonna handle that nigga. Real shit. What did he do? Nah, bro, I'm not even gonna explain it, bro. People being overreactive about the kind of things that he's putting out there about the religion 
it, it's not really about him being gay at this point. It's about what he's saying and what he's doing. Okay, and like how he's affecting people who put their lives and who live their life by these doctrines. But after all that, like, it's safe to say that like, this guy, I think he's wrong within this situation. But when we look at how Lil Nas X has reacted to the whole drama and everything, right? Uh, we can see his apology or so-called response to the situation, which I'm going to be fair with you guys and say it wasn't okay. He could have done better. So Lil Nas X goes on to say that y'all just be talking to talk okay because if anybody knows me as an artist y'all know i put my life and my soul into everything i do the entire motero album was me being vulnerable you lot are re why does he say you lot bro is he british or something you lot are rewriting history like hell and honestly fuck y'all for that all right so this is his response to the whole situation why people are saying he's he's mocking christianity okay and people are actually agree with this guy everything Lil Nas X does uh feel like parody and it's so interesting to me as an artist where is the integrity okay I want to see a display of earnesty crack your ribs and show your heart so people are saying that you know Lil Nas X is being open with his fans he's showing his vulnerable side and they they like that okay and I'm gonna sit here as like as someone who consider himself pretty creative and artistic in that way I get what he's doing right here you know showing yourself to your fans and your audience but guys like i think this guy summarizes the whole situation for us pretty well in says he's gonna start this christian era putting out a music video wearing a shirt that reads if god doesn't exist then who's laughing at us puts out a tweet talking about getting on his knees for more reasons than just praying and now we got this where this man is blatantly mocking christ and people will defend this because they worship these celebrities they have made idols out of these celebrities people need to realize there is a spiritual war happening between the light and the dark so yeah that was basically the whole summary of the Lil Nas X situation I do think this is gonna be taken over the media a lot more because he's coming up with something apparently on Friday that a lot of people gotta be ready for so just be ready for that and let me know your thoughts down in the comments with the way Lil Nas X is showing himself or or changing his style of content is it the right way could he go about it better because I certainly think so but that's the video you know gotta go on my way to do other shit Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Mwah.